Hello Libra, this is Carrie from Celestial Forecasts with your reading for the first half of April. Your love and life reading from the 1st all the way through the 15th. General as always, it won't resonate with every single person. Please do take from it what makes sense for you and release the rest. If you are interested in your own reading, that information is down below in the description box. I'll include a link to all of the decks and creators that you do see here today. And as always, cross watchers are absolutely welcome. So Libra, let's begin. These are the three decks that we will be using for the focus messages, starting things off with the Ghostly Whispers of Love Oracle by Angelic Revelation 144. I'm going to pull from my He Said, She Said Oracle, and it's obviously very specific by way of messages for a man or a woman, but if it's reversed for your situation, if it's a same-sex relationship, then custom tailor it for how it makes sense for you and focus more so on the messages here. And then we'll go ahead and grab a card from the Love Compass Oracle. Okay, so let's begin. Let's see where this goes for you. So it's more than just a love reading. We're focusing on every aspect of your life, Libra. But starting off with love, of course. All right, let's take a look and see where you guys are at on this connection. Someone's on a solo journey in the meantime. I can't be with you right now. That does not mean that they can't be with you later on, but maybe they just feel the need to be able to do something in their life right now. This could even be where you're at in your life, just wanting to kind of do things on your own, be independent, be solo, and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. All right, so let's grab a dialogue card from the He Said, She Said Oracle deck. Okay. For Libra, guided to this one, we have a first date, okay? He said, will you go out with me? And she said, I'd love to. So for those of you who have started dating someone new or you're anticipating this, especially if you've been single for a good minute, you've been solo for a while, you've been on this solo journey, so maybe you've got a first date that's on its way to you. So that's that's a really nice one. I feel like grabbing one more, though. He said, I'm obsessed with you. She said, I'm obsessed with us. So take whatever part of that makes sense. If there's this feeling like you're obsessed with a particular person, as long as it's not coming from a place of like a stockish type energy, or a toxic vibe to it with that obsession because it can pick up off of the energy of the devil card in tarot. Not that type of obsession. So the kind where you just can't stop thinking about somebody because you're totally into them. That type of healthy type obsession. Not someone who's stalking someone's house and just trying to get a glimpse of them. Not that sort of obsessive behavior. You know what I mean? So let's go ahead and see what else is presenting itself here and and watch what tends to happen with some of my readings is I'll say one thing and I'll be like oh well it's not that and then tarot comes around and it's like oh shit it is that <laughs> you know so we'll see we'll see all right so let me grab a card from the love compass oracle angels and spirit guides please for Libra let's grab a card from here all right I'm guided to this one Trust your intuition, okay? Trust what you're feeling. Listen to what your intuition is telling you about this situation or person. Your feelings are real. Tune into your inner guidance and follow it. You already know the answer. So if in your heart of hearts it's telling you something, don't question it. Sometimes how you're feeling is telling you so much about a person, about a situation. And this is can, again, pertain to some other area of your life. It doesn't just have to be a love connection. You know, if, for example, you're contemplating a particular move in regard to your career or switching directions in your life, trust your gut. As long as you trust what feels right in your heart, that will help direct you towards making the right decision. Okay, so let's go ahead and add to this. 
I'm going to pull messages from my silhouettes deck here. So some of you guys are going to be asked out on a date. So that's really nice. Especially if, as I've mentioned, if you've been single, maybe love will finally start coming through for you. And when it comes to new people, okay, trust your gut in that as well, because not every person that approaches you with a first date offer is going to be a good person for you. So just trust your in instincts. All right, angels and spirit guides, please, for Libra. What else do we need to know in love and life, first half of April? Splash. This thing between you and I, let's dive in and get wet. This reminds me of, obviously, water energy, right? So Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, for some of you. This reminds me, and it's interesting how we do have the first date reference here. It's like, okay, well, we feel the connection, we feel the chemistry, let's see where this goes by going out. You know? Because it might just turn into something very special. This could apply to those of you who've been together for a while also. You know, and maybe taking things to the next level. Okay. We've got stillness. When we're surrounded by life's overwhelming demands on our time, our space, our obligations, our relationships, sometimes all you need is a minute to catch your breath to find yourself again. So what I kind of get from this, Libra, for some of you, maybe you've been burning the candle at both ends. Maybe you've just been working super hard you know, maybe doing double shifts. Some of you might even have a couple of jobs and you're just being pulled in so many directions. And sometimes you just need a minute to breathe for quiet time, downtime. You know, something as simple as just turning your phone off, just not interacting on social media and just de-stressing. Rendezvous. Look at this. I need to see you. Let's meet up sometime. First date. <laughs> and this could also pertain to people that you haven't seen in a while. Friends, family. It's like, hey, let's meet up. It's been a while. Let's have a rendezvous. Let's have a little get together here. We also have perspective coming through. Sometimes it helps to see things from a new angle. So this is for those of you who might be dealing with a particular person and and maybe you guys are just running into some obstacles in regard to communication. And it helps to be able to see things sometimes from the other person's point of view. So that you guys can hopefully find some sort of solution to the conversation if there are some issues there. We also have the autumn season. And Libra, you are a part of that. Harvest time. So September, October, November. This can also be for Virgo. Scorpio and Sagittarius in addition to Libra. So that's really nice. Something to do with this time frame. The latter half of this year could even be around your birthday also is what I'm feeling. So that could be giving you a time frame pertaining to relationships, career, and other areas of your life. Okay. And I love how you've got the butterfly card right here creativity, exuberant joy, spiritual rebirth, endless potential. And that can apply to your love life, yes. But that can also apply to your creative endeavors, your personal goals, your dreams, whatever it is, you know. There's a transformation. There are changes that are actually happening in your life. This is also a card of hope. So if you have lost hope in regard to a particular situation of concern... There's hope here. So there might still be the opportunity to work through things. Hmm, some nice messages, really, overall. Let's go ahead and add to this and see what else needs to come through. So let's go ahead and grab some tarot cards. I'm going to pull from my tarot teacher here. Angels and spirit guides, please, for Libra for this love and life reading first half of April I can't believe how fast this year has gone I mean I say that every year you know it's almost as if time just hit the accelerator and it's just been moving so quickly 
at least for me. It just seems to have gone really fast. All right, Libra, what else do we need to know? Love it. Ace of Cups. Some of you might be thinking of a water sign here. Okay. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. And I pretty much said that right from the very beginning with that splash card. This thing between you and I, let's dive in and get wet. Okay, so cups is water energy. There's love here, guys. Okay, a deep connection and a new relationship for some of you. That's why we've got this. But it could also represent a new beginning in love for some of you guys. Letting you know that if there have been some struggles in your partnership, that things can improve, things can get better. The Seven of Wands, picking up off of fire, okay? Some of you guys might be dealing with a Leo, Aries, or a Sagittarius. Standing up for what you believe in, taking the high road. Those are all parts of the energy of the Seven of Wands. It's about perseverance, maintaining control, your strong will. But, you know, this is also a very defensive card. Somebody might have put you into that type of energy here because the seven of wands can also indicate competition that competition doesn't always have to be other people in the sense that it could represent a third party for some of you it could but it could also be competition in the workplace you know, so if you've been wanting a particular promotion, if you have been thinking of going after a particular position, there could also be other people that want the same thing. But here's the thing with that Ace of Cups. You need to be able to fill that cup of love for yourself because it's about self-love also. And if you're confident and have that love for yourself, that is the energy that you're going to be putting out there. And you might just ultimately find that this new beginning could represent a new beginning in your career as well as other areas of your life, as well as a new beginning in love and romance. And then you've got this King of Cups right here. Okay, this is actually a good love match for some of you, especially my feminines. This King is ready to offer that cup of love to you. This is someone who is very caring, very loving. A very affectionate life partner. Page of Pentacles. Earth energy for some of you. Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. So the Page of Pentacles is about manifestation, new enterprises, your ambitions, your desires. It's manifestation of all of these amazing things that you've been working very hard towards to be able to create this solid beginning and laying the foundations for your life, for your relationships, yes. But I can't help but tap into your career, your work life as well, Libra. I'm also getting from this solo journey that some of you guys might be thinking of going into business for yourself or dedicating a lot of time to just spending time on your own. And that's not necessarily a bad thing because sometimes we need that downtime, as I've mentioned, and that's where this comes in. Stillness, you know, a minute to just catch your breath to find yourself again. So needing time to yourself can be very energizing. It's rejuvenating you. It absolutely is very liberating. So if some of you guys experienced a very painful breakup, for example, if someone stabbed you in the back, if there was betrayal of some sort of painful ending, and this is your own air energy right here with that swords, Libra. So maybe you feel that you had to sever ties from somebody that betrayed your trust. That could be friendships too. It doesn't just have to be a love connection. Severing ties from people that hurt you, that betrayed you, that you know in your heart of hearts you can't trust them anymore. 
So it's interesting how we've got trust your intuition right here because you now know what it's like to endure connections where it failed, where it did not work because of trust issues. Can this apply to your love life? Absolutely, which is more than likely for some of you why you're alone, choosing to be alone, going on a solo journey, not wanting to be with anyone right now, or maybe that's the journey that you've been traveling for a while because you've been hurt. And hopefully through that solo journey, you've been able to discover self-love for yourself. And so maybe now you're ready to start dating again. And I absolutely love how you've got the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, so things are going to change. Libra for the better. This wheel is falling in your favor. Destiny, good luck, good karma, good changes, new cycles that are coming in. It could also indicate for some of you guys that someone's returning, someone's coming back. You just got to be mindful. Is the person who's coming back worth taking them back into your life? So that's where your intuition comes in. You'll know in your heart of hearts if this person even deserves your time of day but if they do there's a possibility if you're missing someone from your past that they might come back and have this new beginning with you okay so that's totally possible all right so let's go ahead and grab some dialogue messages here i'm going to pull from my thinking man oracle deck this is the volume two version so let's see where the masculine is at on this journey for the first half of April. Angels and spirit guides, please, for Libra. All right, masculines, what do you want to say to your feminine? You make me happy, okay? That is the effect that you have on your masculine. I hate myself for taking you for granted. You were the only one that was always there for me. And now that you're gone, it hurts so much knowing that I can't fix us. So that could be this person from the past, realizing their role in what happened here between the two of you. They can't fix it alone, that's for sure. Or they can't fix it at all. Which is why, you know, we already have this Ten of Swords. It's a betrayal. So if you did sever ties from somebody like that, that's totally understandable, Libra, but it's definitely affecting this person. And just like what I was saying, look at that. I can't do this alone. I need you to help me bring us back together. Exactly. So if this is to be fixed, they can't fix it alone. You guys need to work together. For some of the masculines, they're just not ready either, which is why we've got that solo journey, you know. And it does say, our soul connection scares me. I've never felt these intense emotions in my heart space before. I'm not sure I'm ready. If they're not ready, they're not ready. You know, you can't force somebody to come towards you if they're just not ready. But I don't feel they're going to be in this energy forever. Let's stay together. Please say yes. So it's up to you, my feminines, if you are wanting to stay together with your masculine. For some of you, they're clearly letting you know. It's like you make me happy. Let's stay together. But some of you could have also been taken advantage of or you feel, as it says, they took you for granted. And maybe it's just too much water under the bridge and you're struggling to even be open to the possibility of letting them back in. But there is a potential that it might resurface. So just FYI on that, you know, just prepare yourself for the possibility of that happening. All right, so let's go ahead and grab some messages from the Woman's Intuition Oracle here. Divine Feminine messages. Angels and Spirit Guides, please. For Libra. All right, feminines, where are you at? You want your masculine to know. It's like you can run, you can roam, 
but only I will feel like home. You guys could have shared a home together, lived together. Okay, so for those who experienced infidelity and trust issues in the partnership, it could be you as well, my feminines, who are on this solo journey and just needing downtime to be able to take a breath and just be on your own in the meantime. Because we might have a masculine here who thought the grass was greener on the other side and having some major regrets because they didn't find it. That's because they had it the whole time. They already had it. They found what they were looking for, but they didn't recognize it perhaps. So they need to trust their intuition too. You take my breath away even from afar, okay? Still feel so drawn to the masculine. I feel you loving me behind that tough exterior of yours. So if you have a masculine who tends to put on a poker face and they don't really show a whole lot of emotion, there's a lot going on beneath the surface. You are my peace, my safe haven. And hopefully peace can be restored in the partnership between the feminine and the masculine here. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab some final guidance here, Libra, from your guardian angels. So first dates for some of you. And others need to continue on that solo journey. But the Wheel of Fortune is falling in your favor, Libra. New beginnings in love, in career. Okay. So let's grab a final message or messages from your guardian angels here for the first half of April. We have intuition again. See, trust your intuition. Trust your intuition and know that what seems logical may not be necessarily right. The answer to your question lies inside your heart. Endless possibilities exist for you. Stop trying to work it all out and feel your way through. We, your angels, will guide you. Trust your feelings. What feels right is right. So at the end of the day, Libra, just trust your gut, your instincts, your intuition, and you will not be wrong. Trust that heart of yours. It will not fail you. Okay, so that's where I'm going to leave this one. Guys, I do hope whatever part of this made sense for you helps you out. If you are interested in your own reading, that information is down below. Thank you guys so very much. I hope you're doing well, and I'll see you next time.